Hello everyone, I am Venu and today we would be talking about Grimoire Lab. The links and the slides are available online. You can check them at vikrambi.github.io slash presentations. Our agenda for today. What is Grimoire Lab? A brief history. How does it work? Demo of Grimoire Lab. How to get started. Current work. How to get involved. A little about myself. I am Venu from Hyderabad, India. I finished my bachelor's at Amrita Vishwa Vidya Peetam, Amrita Puri. I was also a member of AMFOS, an open source student run community during my college days. I am currently working as the Grimoire Lab community manager. Previously, I worked as a back end developer at Pitagia and was a GSOC student with Chaos. Let's talk about community health. Community health is the measure of the health of the open source communities, like how the community is working, how many contributors are there, who are contributing, which projects are active, etc. But when we want to measure community health, we end up with so many questions and doubts. Presenting you Grimori Lab, this is an all-in-one solution for all these questions. Grimori Lab is a set of open source software tools for software development analytics. Now, before getting to know more about Grimori Lab, let's briefly talk about the history of the project. Back in 2001, the LibreSoft research team at URJC decided to analyze open source projects, but they did not find any open source tools to measure the software development. So they started working and created the tools, open sourced it and got funding from the EU Commission. The first platform they built was the Metrics Grimoire. They later improved the visualizations and created the Wiz Grimoire project. Few of the team members started a company called Bitergia to provide additional services around these tools as many companies wanted to have insights to their open source projects and software development projects. Later, chaos was formed from all of these ideas. It was officially announced by the Linux Foundation at the Open Source Summit North America in 2017 with the support from different universities and companies like Red Hat, OpenStack, University of Nebraska, Omaha, University of Missouri, etc. All of this work gave a lot of insights to what an open source metrics platform needed. Lessons were learned and this resulted in a complete rewrite of what we know today as the Grimoire Lab project. Now let's dive into the working of Grimoire Lab. Grimoire Lab collects and gathers data from different platforms involved in software development like Git, GitHub, Jira, mailing list, stack overflow, etc. Merge and organize it in a database and produce visualizations, actionable dashboards and analytics and of all of it. Now let's see where we can find the data of the community. Usually the data sources are Git, GitHub, Jira, where we host the code of the projects and also the issues. But Open source process doesn't mean just code. Community means people, interactions, communications, and more. So there are some additional data sources too, like Discourse, Slack, Stack Overflow, Meetup, etc. We would be interested to analyze these, the data from these data sources too. Once we identify the data sources, it can be divided into three steps. The first step is gathering the raw data. The second step is extracting the required fields and cleaning the data. During this phase, we can also perform identity management. For example, if a person has three emails, a university email, a personal email and a work email, all these three emails belong to the same person. So it would be better if we can mark him, mark all the three emails under one individual so that all these contributions belong are counted towards the same person. 
During this phase, we also calculate some important metrics like time taken to merge a PR, which is basically merge time minus opening time. Here you can see the overall workflow diagram of the Grimoire lab. Data is extracted from various data sources, enriched and stored in the database. The identities are added and the dash dashboards, visualizations, reports are generated. This is the component workflow of the Grimoire lab. Data retrieval is performed by Percival and Kral. ELK enriches the raw data and is stored in the Elasticsearch database. Sorting Hat manages the identities and the dashboards can be viewed in the Kibita. Now let's see how Grimoire Lab looks and try to play with it. Before checking Grimoire Lab, I wanted to highlight some software services that leverage the power of Grimoire Lab and offer SaaS based solutions like Caldron.io and the LFX Insights. You can, for, you can check the first link, chaos.bitters.io, which redirects to the Chaos dashboard powered by the Bittergia Analytics. This is how a Grimoire Lab dashboard looks like. This is the menu bar which can be used to traverse to different dashboards. As you can see, a pie chart, a table, bar chart. There are many such visualizations. You can you can check the all these visualizations. Now let's try to create a new visualization from the existing data. I want to highlight uh, an interesting visualization called the network plot. Now let's select the GitHub pull request as a data source. Now I would try to establish a relation between two nodes. One node is the author name. author name and the second node is the project or the repository now let me try to create the visualization as you can see we have it has generated a, a network plot so the pink node denotes the individual and the blue box node denotes the the project now let's see what we can interpret from this visualization uh, this is me as you can see so this denotes the individual and this this denotes the project so a link between the pink and the blue node denotes that the person the contributor has sent a pull request to this particular repository so it means that i have sent a pull request to grimoire lab tutorial i have sent as it has a link with governance i have sent pull request at least one pull request to governance to kios website to Grimoire Lab Percival, similarly to all these projects. So we can extract, this is one particular use case, but we can extract many such information from these plots. Now let's see how to get started and install Grimoire Lab on your system. There are many ways we can install Grimoire Lab according to our purpose. The easiest way is the Docker Compose method. The source code method is used often by the developers who are interested in contributing to the project. Let's learn more about the Docker Compose method. There are five steps. The first step is you need to install Git Docker Docker Compose in your local system. The second step is to clone the rep Grimoire Lab repository and go to the Docker Compose folder. Then run this command docker compose 
up minus d and in 10 to 15 minutes you can see the dashboard live at localhost 5601 in your browser georg wrote an awesome blog post which explains in detail on how to install it please check it i would like to highlight some of our work which we are currently doing in the project the first project is sorting hat which is a command line tool that manages the identities over the time it has become difficult to use the tool in the terminal so we are now working on improving the web support and improving the new look of the tool using Vue.js, Django and GraphQL. The next project is Bestiary. Grimoire Lab uses a few configuration files for managing the dashboards. We are now working on creating a web-based support for editing these configurations. We also participate in student outreach programs like Google Summer of Code, Outreachy, etc. We, we right now have a GSOC student working on a new feature to extend organization capabilities in the new version of Sorting Hat. We would love to see applications coming from all over the world in the coming years. We have another student who would be working on the Grimoire Lab tutorial as a part of the summer 2021 of the open source promotion plan. Now let's see how to get involved with the community and start contributing to the project. You can check the contributing guidelines present in the Grimoire Lab repository. You can find the mailing list details, communication channels, and details of how you need to open the PRs or issues. If you are interested in contributing to the project or you have any doubts, please feel free to reach out to us. We would be more than happy to see, to see you and help you get started and also review your PRs and contributions. Also, there are different working groups work, which work on creating and improving metrics. You can check more about their work from the website. Feel free to contact me or the other community members for any questions regarding the project. Thank you all for attending the session. I hope all the other talks go fine and have a great day. Thank you.